Hello, so today I'll be doing a try hack me challenge called Agent T. And um, so right now it says Agent T uncovered the, this website, which looks innocent enough, but something seems off about how the server responds. After deploying the vulnerable machine attached to this task, please wait a few minutes for it to respond. So we can just go ahead and start up the machine and I'm going to start up my terminal also and another thing is make sure burp uh, you have burp running in the background uh, click OK but here is where we're going to make well to next and start burp for burp suite let it run in the background um, we're gonna make a new directory called agent well, I'll first go into my THM folder and make directory called agent T. I'll just call it agent T with the T capital and CD into that. And by the way, this is an easy machine, so yeah, it says difficulty is easy. Okay, so what we want to do is start an nmap scan on um, with all scripts, uh, checking for version numbers, and this will be aggressive scan. Uh, so I wanted to go into my THM folder, uh, agent T, and I'm going to create a new directory called scan, and back into my other thing, I do alt. Alt 1 to go tab like back and forth, but anyway, so we have scan folder, and I also do want to um, before I do this export IP equal to the IP that is generated by try hack me. So we have that, and then we can run that and map scan we wanted to run SCSV. O A so and then scan IP call it agent T on our IP. So anyway, this will be an map scan for all scripts uh, versions, checking for versions, aggressive scan and I'll put it to uh, IP um so it'll be this IP plus uh, this hyphen and agent T and then we're gonna do it on that IP. So let that run and I can also go do go buster um, well I'm not sure if we needed to run it, but it's worth a try and then our word list is going to be user share their buster Or uh, word list, and then we're gonna do it with 2.3 medium. I think that's about it. So we go back to thing and map scan. So who's seen down? Oh, because I haven't. Well, one of the things I I forgot, which was really important, was to go into THM folder and uh, find your pseudo header I mean like your um, profile name oh, so OVPN for example um, pseudo and then OV, open VPN pseudo header I, I forgot this enter your password and think we can ping the host now so nope try this yeah okay we're getting ping request so we can try this one more time and of course go buster couldn't find anything
Okay, I'm not sure if exactly it will have uh, these like PHP CGI, but it's worth a try. Anyway, so you enter GoBuster directory and then URL, so it'd be HTTP, the IP address generated by TryHackMe, and then user uh, the word list, it'll be user share word list directory, I mean their buster directory list, and then 2.3 medium. And we're checking for a PHP, CGI, PM, Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and text files. So we can go ahead and let that run. And our nmap scan is done. And we got back a uh, PHP 8.1.0 dev. It's on port 80. Yeah, so it's on port 80 it's open and we also have filtered netto dcs admin on port 384114 um i'll check out the http first so it's the admin dashboard and it looks like we didn't even need to log in or anything if you go to component yeah, there's just a bunch of other stuff and tables. I guess what you would want to look for is something like where you can um, execute a command or other things you can read. Oh, there's a message sender here. You can change stuff in settings, of course. But it looks like it's not... Looks like, yeah, these don't really do much. Um, so yeah, that's the admin page, but yeah, none of, none of the but oh, um, uh, four or four pages running, but blank page is also supposedly just blank page. Charged HTML not found and tables nothing. Okay, I, th I think I got the idea of it. It's just a basic admin page. But anyway, come back to nmap scan and it said PHP 8.1.0. So we'll just copy this. And I think we can. Search for exploit. See if we can find anything. And yeah, we found user agent remote code execution RCE. And we go to it on exploitdb.com. Okay, I'm just going to search with search play. I don't know why. Um, it's taking a while for the... Uh, Exploit DB, it, it looks like whenever I'm on VPN with a try hack me, it just won't load. I'm not sure why it does that. And now search ploy is taking forever. Ah, okay. So we got what we wanted, eight, uh, PHP 8.1.0 dev, user agent, T, remote code execution, and it will be in PHP web apps uh, 49933, uh, and finally we got uh, this thing, so it's the same exact thing. Uh, yeah, like it's, it, it's a, it looks like it's the same code, but um, what you would want to do if you're in, uh, since I did, since I do have this exact thing, 4933, and it says right here, 4933, EDB ID, and it's a 49933, yeah, 49933.py, okay, so, uh, we don't, we don't need to, we could just copy paste it over to our the current directory, so it'd be CP, and then, uh, user share web shells, well, it, um, this is not web shells, so. So I forgot where the exact uh, 
um, place it was for exploit DB, but yeah, it's user share exploit DB. And then you would do name, and then for our ID, it was 4993. So you can copy this, paste it over here. Well, dot pi, and then we can see that it's an user share exploit DB exploit. So you would do like for example, user share, but instead of doing that, you can actually do search exploit, search for, uh, uh, you, you'd tag M and then do 49933.py and it'll copy it to your uh, local directory. So if unless you have the uh, exploit code, so let's just move it to 9932exploit.py. Let's check it out before running we see it's a python script and we're probably going to need to enter the full host name it's going to ask us for it input request a session i think this is in python 1 or 2 version yeah python version 2 sorry but um it's going to request user agent so mozilla firefox and then it's going to switch it with a user agent called Zerodium system and command. So I think I got the gist of this. And keyboard interrupt. And then else print our host is not available boarding. Okay. I got the idea of it. I guess we can just do exploit.py and we have to supply it with the Oh, I'm not doing it right. I'm I'm uh, running it as if it's um, executable. So the full host name URL will be this, and uh, oh, oh, I can't. Let's do HTTP first, and then paste. And do we have root already? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Who am I? And we have root. So if we ls this directory, we have the flag or no? Oh, we go to root. The root folder. And it doesn't seem to be much here. Working directory, it says we're in var w HTML. It seems that we have root, but I can't for for whatever reason I can't get out of this directory. Okay, so I did find out the problem, but um, yeah, we're just going to run the Python exploit once more and supply the HTTP and then paste the um, IP address. Again, just to make sure we're running as root. So we are and we can just go and uh, we don't we can cut out the flag from root and there's your flag and if you wanted to blur out the flag that's how you do it so you don't print out the whole flag but yeah that, that's about it that does it for this video if you liked it please like and subscribe and uh, See you next time.